Hey guys, it's September, and you know what that means? Another Nintendo Direct. I guess I'll make another prediction video. Just kidding, I'm so excited! Anyway guys, there are so many rumors saying that there's going to be a Nintendo Direct imminent in the next week or two, and if you look at this graphic right here, it basically proves there's been a September Nintendo Direct almost every single year for the last like 10 years, so odds are that we're going to get one very, very soon. So I made another prediction video, came up with about 10 really juicy predictions that I think we could really see in this video. So that's what this video is going to be about. Anyway guys, if you're new to my channel, definitely think about subscribing, hitting that like button, all that other YouTube nonsense. There's not much more to say than grab your favorite snack. Yum, 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 yum. Enjoy the video and here we go! No time for small talk, let's just get right into these predictions. The first up is Splatoon. Three. It's been months and months and months since we've heard anything about this game, and we know it's coming out next year in 2022. I don't think it was even mentioned at all at E3 or even at the Treehouse, so we are due for more information. If there's one game that's a lock to be seen at this Direct, it's really going to be Splatoon 3. We need to know what this game's about. What are going to be the differences from Splatoon 2? This is Splatoon 3. Is this going to be Splatoon 2.5 or is it going to be a true sequel with some new innovative mechanics that really improved gameplay? I'm a huge Splatoon fan, so I can't wait to see more. Over the last few months, there's been a ton of rumors that Xenoblade 3 is almost done and almost completed, and that's very exciting. But just hold your brakes for a second. There's still one more Wii U game that needs to be ported over, and that's Xenoblade X. People freaking love this game. It's mechs, you know, robots. It looks amazing. I've heard the controls might be a little weird to port over, but if we've seen anything from the last few games that have been ported over, anything is possible. So I do think we're going to get one last port from the Wii U, and it's going to be Xenoblade X. And you know what? I might even give it a try. I know, all good things must end, and just like that, Smash needs to unveil its final character. And I've actually said this many times in the past, but I think the ideal final character is Crash Bandicoot, so we could finally have Mario vs. Sonic vs. Crash Bandicoot. All the mascots from the 90s finally could go and fight each other. I haven't been playing a lot of Smash recently, but this would get me a little excited, and I think it's one I would even buy. Let's talk the new WarioWare game. They're going to show off a really quick trailer, and you're probably not even going to really be paying attention, but it's all going to be a swerve, setting up for a brand new Wario Land game for the Switch. It'll be called like Wario World. It'll still be a 2D game, but have a crazy awesome art style and some new mechanics. And guess what? This is going to be their big like January, February title. It's not huge, but you know, fit in for that like Yoshi or Kirby. Usually you know where that comes in early, early spring or late winter. But we're going to get a brand new Wario game and it's going to come out of nowhere and people are just going to be so shocked. Next up would be a little house cleaning. I think Doug Bowser will come on stage and just talk about how excited he is for the new Switch OLED, which is coming out in October. And he's going to be talking about how great all these new games look in handheld mode, like Metroid Dread and the new Mario Party. And it's just like talking about how thankful he is for, you know, all the fans. And to reward us for subscribing to their online system, he's going to unveil that we're getting Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on the Nintendo Switch for free. Sorry guys, no Game Boy Advance for some reason. I don't really know why, but so we'll get Game Boy games and Game Boy Color games and you know, we could talk about that for a whole nother video, but my prediction is we will get more. We need to get something else announced for the online system and I think, you know, that's a, enough to keep people satisfied and for people to kind of renew for another year. I guess, I guess I'll renew also. It's only 20 bucks, why not? The next big announcement will be from EA Sports, and in 2022, they're going to be supporting the Switch in a big way. We're finally going to get a new FIFA game, we're going to get an NBA game, and for the first time in generations, we're going to get Madden on the Nintendo Switch. Granted, we're going to have to wait a little bit. These games aren't going to come out till next year, so they're already going to be out of date, but it's going to be nice to know that EA has 
finally decided to really dive in and support this Switch. Next up is Sizzle Real Time, and Nintendo will show off a bunch of first party and third party games coming out in the next few months, and it'll really be headlined by the new Super Mario Party All Stars, and they'll show off some more games and some more mini games that have yet to been revealed, and you know, nothing really new will be shown off about the game, but basically just reinforce that it's coming out, and you should buy it. And the Sizzle Reel will end with Project Triangle Strategy or whatever they were calling it, but it'll get a real official name, and we'll really get to see a little bit more about what that game has in store for us, and I know people are super excited, so I think that'll be a nice way to end that little sizzle reel here, whatever, whatever, they, whatever they call it. And if we're talking about indie games, this game isn't even classified as an indie basically anymore, and that's Hollow Knight Silk Song. This might be the most hyped indie game I can ever remember. People have been clamoring for more information for this game, every single direct, every single indie world. So I think it's time to show off this game, get a firm release date, and I actually believe it's going to be December of this year year which is pretty crazy but i think that game is not going to have that long a window from when it's announced to when it's going to come out so i think december of this year will be perfect for that indie game december is usually kind of a little lull of big releases so i think silk song could do great in that time frame this next game i'm not even sure if i'm excited about but it's that new sonic 2022 the one that we got like a 15 second teaser for in the spring and don't even know really what it's about it's going to be another short teaser, it's going to make it seem like it's an open world type game, but it's going to leave more questions than answers, and it's not even going to look that good, but they will reinforce that it's going to be a 2022 game coming to the Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, you can play it on your iPhone, you can play it everywhere, they're just going to play this game, so they are putting a lot of investment into it, I mean, they haven't had a a new Sonic game since 2017 and Sonic Forces. We all know how that one came out, so they are expecting this one to be much better. Will it be better? We won't know. Um, next, Pokemon. There's going to be no Pokemon information at all mentioned. There's going to be another Pokemon Direct coming up in the next month or two to really, really go over those new big releases that are coming out in the fall and early next year. Here's another big one, and this would be a big surprise, but I really do think Mass Effect Trilogy could come to the Switch. I've never played any of these games, we have kind of just had a hunch they're going to come to Nintendo, so I figured I'd wait. I'm actually really excited because I love sci-fi, I love like that third-person shooter type of game, so I think I'll love them, and I'm just really, really excited. And those actually come out this fall, winter, but definitely this year, so I'm definitely, definitely excited. And I think they'll do really, really good on the Switch, because there's so many Nintendo fans that just never had an opportunity to play these games back in the day. So, fingers crossed this one gets ported over to the Switch, too. Alright, we're finally getting to the end of this massive Direct, and this video too. But, they are going to talk about Zelda a little bit, and say that unfortunately they don't have anything new to show for Breath of the Wild Part 2, but, you know, development is going very smoothly, and they're still aiming for 2022. But, in the meantime, they are going to have a new All-Star Collection, and it's going to have some of the, you know, Nintendo 64 games, and Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess, or some combination of those games. But they are going to, again, mention that this is Zelda's big 35th anniversary, and they will have a new collection, and that will come out this year as well. And I know we're going to say that they already said that there are going to be no new games scheduled for this year or whatever, but how many times have they said that something and then, you know, something else happens? I mean, a few years ago, they said that Skyward Sword was never going to be ported to the Switch, but look, it's on the Switch. It's on the Switch right now. You can play it right now. All right, now it's time for that one more thing, that big one more thing. And who else could it be but Mario? You're going to see Mario hanging out in New Donk City. And we're really going to expect this is going to be the sequel to Super Mario Odyssey. But then, bam, out of nowhere, Donkey Kong comes in, knocks Mario into the pool, and he takes over. And this is going to be showing off a brand new 3D Donkey Kong game. And it is going to look stunning. Granted, it's only going to be about a minute and a half trailer and no release date, but it's going to show a bunch of different environments, and we're going to see that the gameplay style is very similar to Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. It's going to be a mixture of swinging around and just looking amazing, and then some cool uh, combat, hand-to-hand -hand combat, little beat-em-up mechanics, a little collectible, but you know, the swinging around is really going to be the main mechanic, and that will close out this insane the most insane ever, <laughs> Nintendo Direct. 
Okay, okay, I know this was uh, a crazy direct and crazy predictions, but it's really fun. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the predictions I had? Do you have some other predictions that you think are just like so much better? Let me know right in the comment section. Let me know when you think this direct might possibly be. I think it's going to be next Wednesday or the following Wednesday, Thursday, so in the next two weeks. But I am pumped. Let me know what you think. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you to my Patreons. If you're new to my channel, definitely think about subscribing, hitting that like button. It really, really helps. Anyway, guys, I am Turbo Jesse. I'll see you in the flip side.